The fourth entity that we wish to discuss about geometry in 3D is that of a plane in 3D. Plane R. And what do we need to define a plane? As before, we need a point that the plane passes through that fixes it in space. And now the vector needs to be a normal directional vector. That's because only one line passes through T and is parallel to a directional vector. But many lines are normal to, to a directional vector and pass through T. In fact, an entire plane of lines is normal to a vector and passing through T. Many times people describe the normal vector using the letters capital A, B, C, but we will also use our standard form of Rx, Ry, and Rz. Remember, these are just numbers, so once you've substituted them in, you can't tell the difference between whether you use letters in the formula or Rx, Ry, Rz. So, what does the formula look like for the equation of a plane passing through the point T and normal to the vector capital A, B, C. That's what it looks like. So what would a basic first problem in planes be? Find the plane passing through, and here we need a point, and normal to, and here we need a directional vector. So let's get a point. T, let's say, minus 1, 1, 1, and normal to N, R, and it is 1 minus 1, 2, let's say. So let's draw these two things, and then we'll pick up some software to draw the plane. The point is minus 1, 1, and 1. So there's T. The vector ends at 1 minus 1, 2. 1 minus 1, 2. So that's the endpoint of the vector. So here's the vector. It's a directional vector. So it starts at 0, 0, 0 and goes to that point. So this is n r. So we can see this better. What we're going to do is draw the line that's parallel to this normal line and passing through t. So let's pick that up and put it over here. So what we're looking for is a surface, like a piece of paper that passes through T, so T comes through, and this would be dotted because it would be underneath the plane, and the idea is that this a angle here between the plane and the line is a right angle. So this line is normal perpendicular. So let's do this with our software. So let's draw our point, T minus 1, 1, 1. There it is, T minus 1, 1, 1. And now our normal vector. Here is our normal vector n, and like we said, first we're going to draw the line so it is easier to see that the plane is normal to this line, it's perpendicular, and so this is the line passing through t parallel to r, and here is our plane. So now let's rotate this so that we can see that the plane in fact passes through t and is normal to the vector n to the line. Here we go. There, we can see it's normal and passing through the point T. And now turning it back, we can see that where the line is dotted, the line has passed through the plane, is underneath the plane there. Okay, now let's go get the equation of the plane. So we have to start with the components of the normal vector. So 1 and then minus 1 and plus 2. A, B, and C. Then we have X minus, Y minus, and Z minus equal to zero. And now we put our point in, which is minus one here, so this becomes plus one, one, and one here. And so when we clean this up, we get X plus one minus Y plus one plus two Z minus 2 equals 0. And we usually write the x, y, z part in front and combine the numbers to get a constant on the right side. x minus y plus 2z. And
and actually here we have plus 2 minus 2 so there's no constant this is an equation for this unique plane passing through t and normal to n notice that 0 0 0 satisfies this equation so the point 0 0 0 should be on the plane and indeed it looks like it is on the plane and the point T should be on the plane. So let's see, minus one, minus one, that's minus two, plus two is zero. So T is on the plane. And all of the points between zero, 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 and T are on the plane. In fact, there are infinitely many points this way and infinitely many points that way. So one could say that there's infinity squared points on this plane. What's another equation for this plane passing through t and normal to n, pick a number. What number would we like to pick? We'll pick pi. So suppose we pick pi. So then pi times x minus pi times y plus 2 pi times z equal to 0 is also an equation of that plane. Any number we pick and multiply here gives us an equation of this unique plane passing through t and normal to this vector.